my friends. This is my March wrap up. It was a weird reading month for me and a weird life month uh, as it was for everyone considering the state of the world that we now live in. Mostly what I did read was digital so I'll be putting a lot of pictures up over here. So the first thing I read was uh, I don't remember the full title but it's basically The Nightmare Before Christmas in Disney emojis and it stuck with me so much, not in a good way, that I just had to add it to Goodreads because normally like I wouldn't, you know, it's just like, it was like 30 pages, it, there's no words, like I wouldn't have added it, but it really just stuck with me. The stuff, Disney emoji is an experience, if you haven't, no, I'm not even gonna say it, don't do it, don't ruin your life, <laughs> you know, enjoy your life. <laughs> anyway. The first physical book I read, the first actual book I read was Upright Woman Wanted by Sarah Gailey, which was incredible. I love this author. Uh, they wrote the American Hippo duology. I don't remember what the first book is called. Uh, it's in a bind up now though of like the both books just called American Hippo. Um, and they're amazing. I definitely recommend those and I also highly recommend this. I give this five stars. Um, I don't want to tell you too much about it because it is very short. But it is like a kind of like dystopian but also wild west place where the government controls what literature you can read. They have like approved things and uh, I would just like to say that the librarians distribute that and also the tagline for this book is are you a coward or are you a librarian? And that is what made me read it so soon because that is an amazing tagline and this was such a fun book. It hit so many different points. It just, there was a lot of feeling in it. It's just, it's real good. There's a, it's real good. It's almost a full female cast besides one of the characters is not binary. And then I th think there's some like male side characters but like they don't matter, which is always great. <laughs> always here for that. Um, and I think everyone in this book that you like really care about is queer, which is also great. And also a thing that Sarah Gailey does well. So this is the third, second, whatever, however you want to count it, thing I've read by them and I'll definitely be picking up more. I already bought something else by them that came out in March, so I'm excited to read more by them. Um, but definitely, if you haven't picked up A Fruit Woman Wanted or American Hippo, highly recommend. Okay, now we're going to get into the picture side of things. So the next thing I read was Fake Boyfriend by Eden Finley because I remembered that I had a Kindle Unlimited subscription and I was like, you know what? This is what I need right now. And it really was. I was worried picking up this book, even though I got the recommendation from Chandler, who I'll link down below. You probably follow her if you follow me. I don't know how you would get here if not. But um, she's not just a romance reader, but she does read a lot of romance. And she recommended this book to me. And I was unsure about it because of the premise, which is that a guy lied to his high school girlfriend and told her that he was gay instead of like breaking up with her because he just didn't want to hurt her feelings or something. It, it was such a weird, like, homophobic premise that I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about it, especially because then obviously he brings a guy home and then obviously, like, they fall in love. Like, it's a fake dating romance. Like, this is what's going to happen. So I was, like, really concerned about it, but I will say that the guy that he brings ragging on him constantly about it is pretty great. <laughs> it was It was a real nice touch to it because I was like, you can't just have him, like, accept this. Like, it's no like no that's not a real anyway it's a ridiculous shitty premise but it was a very very fun book I have to say I really enjoyed it I think it was my first book by Eden Finley I hadn't read anything by them before um this is also the first in like a fake romance series so we'll get to that in a second yeah I liked it I recommend it I gave it four stars um the cover is ridiculous as you can probably see. And then I read Sweet Topping by Carol Lynn, which is a male male romance with a wheelchair bound main character and then like a used to be football star who dropped out for some reason. I don't remember. It wasn't that important. It was very short. And it honestly also wasn't that good. I had a lot of problems with how, like I'm, uh, I don't have any physical disabilities that require, require me to use a mobility aid like a wheelchair or something else. But the way that it was handled felt weird to me, but also not. Like, I can understand why, um, 
I don't think it was handled poorly. I think it was handled differently than I expected because I expected the person in the wheelchair to be in a wheelchair. And he is, however, he does have the option that if he do goes through rigorous physical therapy, he could maybe walk again. And that's like the thing that was like, mm, this might not be done well. But there is parts where they address it and like, the love interest that, I don't remember his name. I don't remember either of their names. I don't remember anyone's name in books anymore. No one has a name. Um, the love interest like doesn't really care and just like, it's, like just like, like, likes him, thinks he's like really cute and everything. But like also is like pushing him to like do this thing of like you know you could you could walk again, and it just I don't I don't know it just it wasn't done super well but it also wasn't done like super poorly I wouldn't recommend it obviously I'm uh, not actually qualified to be <laughs> talking about this like at all so take it with a grain of salt but from my perspective there was just something about it that left a bad taste in my mouth so I gave it two stars it was cute but that was just something I couldn't really look past and then I read Trick Play by Eden Finley I told you we're coming back to this so this is also in the fake dating series and obviously it's a romance series so it's following like a friend of the first one and uh, it's actually following characters that you like it's actually like more of a series than I'm used to romance novels being which I actually kind of liked you like really meet the main character of this in the love interest in the first one and they end up being in like a fake relationship to the public for various reasons uh, I don't want to spoil anything that happens in the first book but like there's a lot happening in this series and it's really interesting there's a lot this one focuses on a gay football player who has been outed and uh, the son of like a politician and so it's like interesting the way that works and also it's interesting how hurt they have both been in trying to like actually get together because there was just like this is this is a ride <laughs> of a book there's like so much happening but also like they're in the same house for like a majority of the book so I don't know anyway I would definitely recommend this series I would definitely actually recommend starting with the first one and then reading the second one which I don't normally do with romance series normally you can like just jump in wherever but for this one I would definitely recommend going in order because you really do especially at least for these first two I haven't read the third one yet you really benefit from reading the first one anyway trick play Eden Finley four stars next I read save the date by Annabeth Albert and Wendy Quails Wendy Quails wrote the one I was just talking about and I wanted to give her the benefit of the doubt and it was with Annabeth Albert who I love so I decided to pick this up it was on Kindle Unlimited as you can tell I was having a month this is kind of like a one night stand turns into something more thing they're like uh, visiting a place for a wedding and they end up at the same bar and they hook up the night before and then the next day at the wedding they're introduced as the like being from opposite parties like th this is so complicated I don't know why I can't explain this right the bride is this main character's sister and the guy he ends up being involved with is best friends to the guy that she's getting married to so it's like and he's like the younger brother so there's always that you know whatever so this was just cute. The love interest is ex-military. The main character guy is like a virgin. It's was fine. It wasn't super memorable. I guess that's kind of it. That's kind of all I have to say about that one, which is kind of sad. I really have liked a lot of things I read by Annabeth Albert. Her like Portland, what's it called? Her, oh yeah, her Portland Heat series. I really like that series. I think it's really cute. So I don't know. I was in just a weird headspace all month so I assume that's why I, w I was just like not connecting fully with all these things next <laughs> this book has a great title and I read it for one of the romance obli prompts actually a lot of these have been used for romance obli prompts but this one was one I actually like science and jockstraps by Riley Hart and Christina Lee I don't think I've read a book by either of those authors before this one but I would definitely read more this was interesting um, it's a novella length it's like a hundred it's over a hundred pages but it's still pretty short and it's part of this series with a bunch of different authors called Aces Wild where they end up going to the sex shop owned by these two guys in every book and it's like a weird way to connect a romance series but I guess this is what we're doing now and I didn't even realize I had actually read one of the books in this series previously so that was kind of fun anyway 
roommates to lovers, friends to lovers situation. They're kind of like secret friends because one's a jack and one's a nerd and like all this stuff, but like doesn't really matter. Yeah, they've been roommates forever and they have like weekly like movie nights and everything and it's very cute and then like just some stuff starts to happen. I'm not gonna spoil it, but I am gonna say content warning for spanking. It's very low conflict, like there is one moment where you're like, dude, just like I wanna kind of shake you, but overall it's pretty low conflict and it was really cute. Next, and finally, like I said, I didn't read much this month. I read Grumpy Fake Boyfriend by Jackie Lau, who everyone's been talking about recently because of her, oh shoot, I don't remember what it's called. Oh, this one is another like uh, best friend's little sister fake dating thing. Listen, I really like fake dating. I think it's a lot of fun and there's endless books about it. So it's keeping me sane right now, apparently, although I haven't read anything in two or three weeks, so. But anyway, this is just a one where, uh, I think the main, yeah, the main guy is like a, not a super popular sci-fi writer, but like a well-known sci-fi writer who is finishing up uh, a long series and a girl who is like just broken up with a long time boyfriend and is going to stay at a summer house for like a long weekend with him and his friends who are also her friends, but were his friends first and like, she doesn't want to show up alone because it's been like over six months and she should be blah, 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 blah. fake dating. <laughs> and then, you know, maybe not so fake dating. Like, I feel like I really don't have to describe this too well. Um, This was really cute. I do actually remember the guy's name. It was Will, am I correct? Will and Naomi? Anyway. Will was super cute. He was very grumpy, uh, but more in just like an introverted way. Like he just wanted to be left alone sometimes. It seemed like a lot of people in his life didn't understand that he just wanted to be left alone sometimes, that he needed like time to recharge. Um, but it seemed like also people did understand that. He just hadn't fully registered that people did. He was just focusing on the bad stuff. It was super cute. It's got a ridiculous title. It's got a fun cover. I will definitely be reading more by this author. Um, and I gave that one a three stars. I don't know why, but there was just something about it that wasn't a full four or anything, but it was really good. I would definitely recommend it. And that is what I read this month. As you can tell, it was a month. Um, so let me know what you read in the comments down below, and I hope you, I hope you're okay, and I hope you're safe, staying safe, staying away from people and everything. Um, yeah. Life Before Death Radiance.